Hello, welcome to this video on aircraft coordinate systems. My name is Frank Owen, PolyX Engineering Incorporated, San Luis Obispo, California. In this video, I'll describe the three basic coordinate systems used in flight mechanics. There are three systems uh, primarily used in flight mechanics. The inertial system, and it's attached to the earth and does not move. The body fixed frame, which is attached to the airframe and it moves with the aircraft and then the aerodynamic frame, uh, which is defined by the velocity vector of the center of mass of the aircraft. The aerodynamic frame is also fixed to the uh, aircraft. We'll start with the inertial frame. <clears throat> we consider the Earth flat, and uh, actually we have to uh, uh, orient uh, the three coordinate directions in specific directions, and so arbitrarily, uh, xg, which is uh, the ground fixed coordinate system faces north. Uh, the uh, Z coordinate of this uh, uh, Earth fixed frame points downward, actually towards the center of the Earth. Now to have a right-handed coordinate system, we have to have the uh, Y direction uh, set so that when we cross uh, X into Y, if we hold our fingers along the our hand outstretched and our fingers along the x-axis and then curl them into the y direction and our thumb points into the g direction. So we need y to be um, towards the east uh, because of the right hand rule. We also will use this symbol, these three little lines, to indicate that um, the uh, coordinate system is fixed. This is a symbol often used in engineering to indicate a stationary object. Let's uh, then look at the body fixed frame. Here we see an aircraft in an isometric view. The dot in the center represents the center of mass of the airplane. The uh, longitudinal axis of the airplane defines XB. <clears throat> uh, B stands for body fixed frame. Uh, so the, the X axis uh, is just the longitudinal axis of the airplane. Y, again, uh, points downward, or at least out, out of the bottom of the aircraft. Not Y, excuse me, Z. And it uh, is so oriented that uh, it's in the um, plane of symmetry of the aircraft. So XB, ZB forms the plane of symmetry of the aircraft. The Y direction, because of the right-hand rule again, uh, points outside uh, the aircraft to the right. Uh, because we need a right-handed coordinate system. Uh, the last coordinate system that I'll define is the aerodynamic frame, and it also is attached to the aircraft. Here we, we're going to use a, a, an air, a, a flight maneuver called slipping to define this coordinate system to show the difference between it and the body fixed frame. Here we're looking at the aircraft from above, directly above. So we're looking down the Z, G axis towards the center of the Earth. We have uh, the, the right aileron up, which means that the right wing is down. The left aileron down, which means that the left wing is up. Therefore, the aircraft is rolled to the right. But we're cross-controlling it. We're putting in left rudder instead of right rudder. If we put in right rudder, of course, the aircraft would just uh, turn to the right. But by cross-controlling it like this, we hold the aircraft in this uh, awkward position, actually. Again, the body fix frame uh, defines uh, the XB direction, which is just the longitudinal axis of the airplane. But with it cross control like this, we will actually slip to the right, as we say. Uh, so we're moving not uh, along the longitudinal axis of the airplane. Uh, we're moving uh, uh, to the right. The airplane is sort of flying sideways, as, as we say. The velocity direction defines the aerodynamic x-axis. Uh, the A subscript uh, indicates aerodynamic. Um, we, are, uh, we have our z direction again going down. Uh, this is a foreshortened picture of it because we're looking directly from above and the aircraft is rolled to the right. Uh, but anyway, the uh, z-axis is in the, the uh, um, plane of symmetry of the aircraft. And again, just as in the other two examples, we need to have 
a y uh, b in the direction that gives us a um, right hand coordinate system so that also is, uh, is foreshortened and this is called a right slip to landing that covers these coordinate systems uh, other uh, videos uh, will get into more detail with these coordinate systems. I hope this has helped and I hope to uh, have you again as a guest in uh, upcoming videos. Thanks for your attention.